Gear effect, what is it? Have you ever hit a good shot and the ball go the opposite direction you think it's gonna go? We're gonna find out today physics behind gear effect. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell. I'm joined today by Danny Farrell. We're both master fitters at Second Swing Minnetonka Store. Today we're gonna to be discussing gear effect. Mm -hmm. Gear effect, it's, uh, it's pretty scientific. There's a lot of physics Absolutely. behind it. Um, let's just face it, if you hit the ball in the middle of the club face, the ball generally is gonna go pretty straight right. if you match your club face and your club path up, right? True, yep. It's usually gonna happen. However, MOI, we have some very large drivers these days. Yep. And they're very forgiving for certain reasons, because let's face it, golfers, golf's hard. <laughs> and uh, ball's not always gonna go straight. Right. So right. the, the reason why clubs have been designed the way they have been, and that's to help straighten out strikes a little bit if you catch the ball on the toe and off the heel. Right, right, yep. So we're gonna kind of dive into hitting drivers, seeing how impact varies, and we'll talk a little bit more, dive in on, uh, on what that exactly means too. Yeah, so we'll, we'll play around a little bit with like impact height. Yep. So on TrackMan, we can, we can show impact height in millimeters and how far above the, or below that is the, the center. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, impact offset, so that's left and right as well. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be the biggest predictor on curve. Absolutely. And impact height's gonna be based on ball flight, on the height the ball flies and how much the ball spins. Absolutely. Yeah, so we'll play around with that a little bit. Um, we'll play around with maybe a little bit of older technology. Okay. And, uh, and newer technology. Okay. So I know an old driver head's not as large as a right. new driver head. Right. And the MOI, they keep pushing it every year with, with the manufacturers all the time there too. Absolutely. Yeah, so let's play around with gear effect. Okay. It's, uh, it's gonna be excited to see what happens if you get one off the toe and leave that face open, but it goes left. It's like, right. well, that doesn't <laughs> right. make sense, but it, you get help by a lot of uh, Absolutely. the technology behind clubs. Yes. Okay, Danny, uh, search through our clearance bin here. It looks like we've find, found the 975D. It's an eight yep. and a half degree club here. So it's uh, older technology. The CC volume size is definitely not gonna be 460 cc's. Right, right, yep. yep. And there's a lot of weighting. You, know, you look at the sole design as well. A lot of the other drivers have more heel and toe relief. This is very little as well. So a smaller profile. Be interested to see how gear effect changes on a smaller club head design. Perfect. Well, let's start out. I'll get you to do the hitting today. Okay. And then we'll hit with this, and then we'll hit with a uh, larger MOI driver. Okay. Sounds good. That wasn't too bad for a uh, older technology driver. Right. <laughs> that still felt pretty good. I mean, numbers are okay with it. Not the loft that I currently play, but. You know, you can see face to path. Face was a little bit closed there, so we caught it just a little bit in the heel. Yep, yeah, so, so we can see, you know, if you take a look here, you're about 10 millimeters to the left of the heel of the, of the driver. Yep. Your face angle is closed three degrees. Your club path is in to out three and a half degrees. Yep. So your face to path being six and a half to the left, it's gonna be really hard, even if you got that ball on the heel to really save you. Yeah. But what it did is actually it saved it going further to the left. Right. Because right. if you are, if you, yeah, I mean, if you had hit that in the middle of the club with that same face to path relationship or mm -hmm. even on the toe, it really would have hooked even further to Absolutely, you. Yeah. absolutely. And you know, you talked about the millimeters. I break it down in terms of a golf ball. Like the dimples on a ball is four millimeters. So I'm essentially two and a half dimples inside from where I should be okay. with that. So a little bit easier way to frame it too. But Let's hit a few more here. Okay. <laughs> yep. So that one we noticed the spin rate jumped because it was lower on the face. Right. So the impact height is actually 16 millimeters now. So it's lower and the yeah. spin rate goes up. Yep. So what happens on a low strike? What's gonna happen to the launch profile? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna launch a little bit lower with a higher spin as well, especially with older tech. They didn't really vitalize that or make it as important as the new drivers now. So right. it'll be interesting to see that strike with a new driver should influence direction and spin a little bit better too. Yeah, I feel like you're getting punished a little bit here for, with your misses with this Absolutely. driver. Absolutely, there's yeah. a reason why I play a bigger head now, <laughs> for sure. It's the reason why we all play a bigger head. Absolutely. <laughs> 
There you go, more ball speed on that one. Hey oh. All right, same, same thing there. Your face angle was slightly open, open. but your path right oh. now is causing that thing to oh. just curve to the to left more than it really should. But you'll oh. notice that was actually closer offset wise, so it was only three millimeters to the left. Yep. We noticed they actually had more curves, so the spin <laughs> right. access was m even further, yep. well, even though your face to path was, was less. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that, that's interesting. Uh, I want you to hit, try and hit, hit a little fade for me. I want to see what happens Kay. if we play around with trying to straighten out that club path number. Okay. All right, very nice. Yeah, so that, that was uh, incredible. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that is incredible. Check out the face angle on the club path. I, I asked, one, asked you one time to straighten out your club path, yep. and you got to 0, 0. Winning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's going to obviously straighten the shot out. But uh, here you can see this is, this is, this is kind of what we wanted to see. Yeah. So your club path was 0, 0.0. Yep. Your face angle was negative 0, 0.2. So it's, it's slightly closed. Right you would think the ball would go left because your okay. face angle was close to your path. Yep. Well, we take a look at the impact offset there. We've got mm -hmm. nine millimeters from the c center of the face yep. and the ball curved to the right. Yep. yep. So that's a little bit of twisting, a little bit of the, uh, that's the gear effect doing its job when Absolutely. you catch, because now we're getting further and further away from the CG, mm -hmm. there's more forces that are fighting against each other essentially. Yep. yep. Yeah. Let's see one more with this one, and then we'll see what happens with some newer technology. Okay. All right. So this is, this is the other extreme here. So mm -hmm. if you take a look here, you can see that your, your face angle was open almost six degrees. Yep. Your club path is also in the out. So it's going to start over there to the right. Correct. Well, one new thing you'll notice, this looks more like a push shot to me. It's really not a slice. It's right. not starting left and curving there to the left. It's just kind of look a little straight to the right. And the spin axis is only about five degrees to right. the right. Yep. That's because we got it just slightly on the toe there. We're going to see seven millimeters out towards the toe side. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, well, when we get to the newer model, I'll, I'll see what happens if we try and get it really far out of the toe. Yeah. Because this one, you don't have as much area to really get. <laughs> no. You start going towards the toe there, you might start missing the, uh, missing the driver. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Because okay. I really want to showcase a, a real big toe strike and see what sure. happens. Sure. Kay. Sounds good. Yeah. So this, this is interesting so far. Let's move on to some newer technology now. And we'll talk about the differences in, in CG. Okay, so Danny, you have chosen the uh, Tour Edge Exotic C721. If you yeah. look on the bottom, I know that it says written on there, it says Extreme MOI. Absolutely. What does that mean? So we're looking at some of those screws on the back there and seeing the placement of the CG. Yeah, so in terms of you know, what we're looking at today, we just went through some older tech where the CC or MOI, the club is dramatically lower. I grabbed this because it's pretty much the king of MOI. Very, very forgiving, weights all the way in the back. You can look at kind of how it sits as well. There's kind of more heel and toe relief as well. So that should help with that kind of resistance to twist as well. Right, so. yeah. And that's kind of what the last couple of years the manufacturers have been going for. We Absolutely. know there's limits on how fast the ball can come off the club face. Right. Uh, unfortunately, you can't have the spring-like effect or anything like that. Right. But they've been pushing MOI and they've been trying to find a way to help the consumers on those bad shots. Yep. Yeah, just kind of figure out ball speed. If we do miss in the middle, manufacturers are really waiting heel and toe side to improve that strike, manage the ball speed, and manage the spin a little bit better. All right, well, let's hit a few shots here with the exotic C721. Okay. That one sounded pretty nice. All right, that was a good start there. Yeah. That was a really good swing. That was almost 300 yards. Uh, so this one, we'll take a look at those numbers and we'll talk about gear effect a little bit here first. You can see your club paths in to out. Yep. Uh, your face angle was open. Mm -hmm. Face to path there was negative 1.1. Yeah. Um, you can see the spin axis is negative 3.3. So that's, you know, we noticed that you hit it slightly off the heel. We're talking three millimeters. Yeah. It's not really, it's, it's close. Yeah. And actually, this is an interesting thing to bring up too because some drivers, their CG is not 
exactly dead center right in the middle exactly. of the club head. Yep. I know a lot of drivers, they are just slightly in the heel side. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So this is probably a good example of hitting it pretty much right in the middle mm -hmm. and having those, your face angle, club path and face angle numbers matching Match up. up. Mm -hmm. To cause that spin axis to be three degrees to the left. Yeah. That's kind of what you would expect for this <laughs> shot, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Good. Eventually, I'd like to see you get me like a, a toe strike here. I know it can be challenging to try and go from heel to toe and okay. high and low, but we'll get you there. Well, I'll deliver it on the fade earlier. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make it happen. Should be toey. There we go. All right. Very nice. Delivered. Delivered right there. <laughs> yep. So it was interesting watching the curve there. Um, so face angle. This is, is, this is great, actually. This, yep. is, this is awesome. Yep. Your face angle was 8.7 degrees open. Yeah, yeah, your club path was a little more in to out. So your face path was still open, though. Yep. Check out that spin axis. 6.6. Six. Negative 6.6. Six. Right. So even though your face to path was open, mm -hmm. which is right, yep. because you hit that thing so far around the toe, the gear effect mm -hmm. helped twist that thing over essentially right. with the center of gravity positioning yeah. to basically give you a pretty straight shot, yeah. even though your yeah. face angle was open. It actually curved to the left. It's a huge change coming out of that. You said earlier, if I would have hit the previous driver off the toe, I would have been dead. But now with the new manufacturers, you know, basically targeting players that hit it there or in the heel, we're seeing the results and the spin and everything is still pretty, pretty good. Right. Very, very that's, forgiving. That's 26 millimeters. That's, that's, that's pretty, out there. That's pretty far out there. It's I know you mentioned, what, every dimple is about four millimeters? Yeah, so close to seven. Yeah. Six and a half. Six to six and a half. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's out there. <laughs> that's, that's pretty far out there on the, on the toe side. Yeah. If you did that with that first driver, you might have missed it. Absolutely. Yeah. It would have went straight up in the air, spun, and probably went about 180. Yeah. But that's modern technology helping me, helping other players when we struggle to hit the middle of the face. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, that went 286 yards. I think carried 260 yards. Mm -hmm. We know you didn't hit it well because you, you can tell by your bull strike that it was off the toe. Yep. You can see that your bull speed drop and your smash factor drop. Yeah. But it was actually one of the better numbers of the day. <laughs> right. Right. So right. that's... I mean, that's kind of gear effect in, in a nutshell In a that's nutshell, it. right there is yeah. how it can help you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you catch the ball on the toe, mm -hmm. there's a good chance the ball is going to curve more to the left than you're thinking. Correct. Yep. You catch the ball on the heel, there's a good chance the ball is going to curve more to the right than you're thinking. Yeah. Yep. Obviously, you have to take consideration your, your club path and your face angle True. as well, and then what club you're hitting too. Right. We're gonna see, so what would happen if this was an iron? It was gonna be less, right? Because the Absolutely. CG is really pushed full with an iron. Right, right, yeah. so we'd see kind of more variation. I mean, with drivers, spin comes down. So gear effect takes more influence on direction because there's less spin on it. Yep. As you add spin, the ball doesn't curve as much. So with irons, you know, we should see a straighter ball flight even if we miss heel or toe side with it. Too. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's more or less the drivers, the fact that there's not much loft on a driver is yep. going to influence that left and right curve there as well. Right. But yep. Yeah, so if you, ever, if you ever wondered that your, your club face is being wide open, but you hit the ball on the toe and the thing goes left. Straight, <laughs> stays straight or goes a little left, yep. that's, that's kind of part of the reason. And gear Absolutely. effect, it's, it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun to see. It's fun mm -hmm. to play around with hitting it on the toe, on the heel. Yeah. Very hard to hit the ball on the heel. Yeah, it was. It yeah. definitely was. And even when you said hit it off the toe, I was hoping for it. And boy, definitely delivered there. Yeah. I'll finish up here. Um, I'll, I'll say when I'm playing, I mentioned it's very hard to hit the ball on the heel. I never hit the ball on the heel. Same. I'm slightly high toe. Yep. I like to draw the ball a little bit. Yep. Same. So me catching the ball slightly high toe from the middle mm -hmm. is going to, one, it's going to cause the ball to launch high. Yep. The spin rate is going to be lower. Yep. And it's going to give me that little drawer, yeah. and it just goes high and far. And Absolutely. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's one of my little secret ingredients to how I hit the ball far. Is you know, I weigh 165 pounds, and yeah, I've got some club speed, but sure. Um, but taking advantage yeah. of the gear effect and modern technology just benefits you. It can benefit other players as well. Right. Uh, one last thing: if you catch the ball on the heel or on the toe, is it going to influence club speed? Yes. yes. Yeah. If you catch yeah. it more in the toe, the speed will come up. 
because the toe is virtually passing the heel a little bit faster at impact. If you catch it in the heel, the club speed actually is going to come down a little bit too. Right, yeah, because that toe is tur trying to turn over. and Correct. that Yeah, so you'll pick up higher club speed numbers yeah. if you catch the ball in the toe. Absolutely. You'll pick up lower club speed numbers if you catch, if you catch, catch the ball in the heel. Yeah. And we all know that smash factor debate, it's going to influence that yeah. because your club speed number is going to be going to vary a lot there right. too. Yep. Um, yep. Obviously, ball speed's going to vary too because if you don't catch the ball in the middle, it's going to change there too. <laughs> right. Right. So there's so much that goes into it. Yeah. Yeah. This is just another added piece. Mm -hmm. We look at hit location when we're fitting a second swing. Yep. Yep. We either use uh, the hitting location up here. If you're a golfer, you don't have access to this. You can spray some Dr. Shaw's foot spray on there. Yeah. Um, you can get some face tape. Mm -hmm. oh, put it on. Put it on the driver there too. Yeah. But yeah, pay attention to where you hit the ball in the face. That's all I gotta say, because it's really gonna influence ball flight. Absolutely.